RJ. Last time on the Time Traveler's mission, why did I just hear a door open? We were exploring the ship. And you're wondering where I have got this torch, this bow and arrow and sword. I've already explored the hut over there where I got material to make a bow and arrow and sword. But accidentally I lost that bit. I haven't got much far, but we'll continue anyway. Right, and as you can see it's now raining and pouring. Really Read Fort 4, okay? The large hole in the building before you was impossible to miss. Oops, I don't think I don't think houses in this time were built to withstand the force of a time jump. Because no one's home at least. Maybe I can borrow some equipment from their house. Okay then. Oh look, a fishing rods and bread and a stick. These other materials is just stuff I found on the ground, so ignore that. Okay, so let's continue. What? Oh. Oh. Yatsberg Yats Village ahead. Oh, what a horrible night. What the hell? What's wrong with the dog? So black. Weird. We wouldn't mind going through a. Oh, I wouldn't mind taking you, but I'm not your owner. Right. So let's explore the guard tower. There's poo, poo sheep. Read Fort Five. We peer out the you peer out the guard tower's windows. What a strange town. Definitely far, far in the past, judging by the architecture. And these these things in the chair. Are they some kind of ammunition? They there seems to be no way of using them currently. Anyway, you should check out the town. Clues about whereabouts of Z. What's in the Arrows! Yeah! Hmm, maybe I was supposed to make a bow. Alright, what's up here? Nothing. Alright, let's jump down. Ouch. Oh. There's our ship over there. Yep, shut. Alright. P.D. Smith, the finest metalworks in all of the lands. Alright. Oh, cool. Another set of armor. Awesome. Awesome a sword. Don't ask why it's got you over it. I have not explored past the Carter's house. Alright. Pete's journal. What's in the chest? Whoa, 36 gold. Two torches. Pete's journal. Alright. Um, today's profits were great. A group of wandering vengers stopped by and brought a bunch of swords and armor. I think I'll treat myself to some prime pork chop tonight. Haha. <laughs> and then I'll go visit Matilda and buy us some of her flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Love is the sweetest thing. And then give them to her and ask her <coughs> over for some, some prime pork. Sure, fine plan. She can't wrestle with Ruth. I'm rooting for you, man. You will get your girl. Also, there's some strange doohickey stick from the Avengers, being used, been using it as a back scratch. <laughs> Jesus, chicken out on asking Matilda over. Oh, PD. And I lost my back scratch. Oh, double. Oh, yeah, not a good day for you, mate. They must have reopened the diamond mines with a bang because that sure was one loud explosion. I heard it all the way from Mount Gavis hat. For God's sake. Hat, I mean hot. I was on my way to Matilda's, but I got nervous again. Oh, for God's sakes, Petey. I'm feeling for you, man. So I just walked past like I was meaning to go to Angaffa. Who's Angaffa? Alright, June 5th. I inform it a man gets a bit of sleep in this town. 
Father Hall came knocking on my door before the sun was up. Seems like we're doing some sort of dr drill. I figured no one would be in town, so I'll just leave my words behind. Maybe I can welcome Matilda. Oh. Even during a post epileptic situation, you still walk with your loved one. Anything else? Ah. Oh. Not full of me, buddy. What's in this chest? A lever! Yeah! Lever Las Vegas. Lever Las Vegas. Viva! Viva! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so next time when we get back, I'll finish exploring Gatsburg Village. Sorry for the really short episode. Just don't want to go over the limit.